Hi there. So this is Lou Martin, and this is my Awakened Spirits Network, and my lovely friend, Laura Rinenkowski. Yeah, is that all right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, thank you. We passed the test. Thank you, God. It has a, a great name, which is um, Finnish, is it? Yes. Yes, yes. I was, yes, I was, I was, I was born in Finland and right. uh, grew up in Venezuela. Then I studied in Boston and Miami and now Dublin. So when people ask me where I'm from, it's like, you know, everywhere, you've many covered, places. You've covered the globe. Yes. You've seen it all, I suppose. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay, great. And Laura and I wanted to get on. She has a, 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 an exciting new book, uh, particularly about women's empowerment in terms of relationships and and recovering power from relationships uh, called Burned. Yes. You, yeah, you want to give us your subtitle again? That's that's so important. Yes, yes, yes. It's so, so the book is called Burned, Brave and Inspiring Stories from Women Who Have Overcome Their Fears to Speak Their Truth and uh, and Share Their Wisdom. Yeah, <laughs> it's a long, you know, it's, it's a long title, but, you know, it's a, it's a long, uh, powerful um, title. It's it's funny because I hadn't um I hadn't planned on being in, in this book, but but I felt um I felt called um to uh, to to be in this book, and um it's a very powerful book. It's eighteen of us uh, in this book, and wow. we all share stories of um you know of of getting our voice back and, and our and our power back, and and these stories have really have really struck a nerve um, around the world. Um you know we became bestsellers in in seven countries in the in the US, in the UK, Canada, Australia, Germany, France, and, and the Netherlands. And, and 57 categories as well. I didn't even know that there were 57 different categories what? on Amazon, you know? So yeah, yeah, it's been amazing. It's been amazing. And like the feedback and the testimonials, you know, have, have been have been really amazing because I mean, you know, we all we all share these stories to to help and, and inspire, you know, people, um, people around the world. So so it's amazing to see, you know, when it's received, you know, in, in, in such a in such a good way. And we're also doing an audio book of, of this book um, as well. So that's really exciting as well. Great. Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, we're going to dive into that, my friend. And uh, you also are offering um, workshops. Uh, yes. Would you say a little bit about that as well? Yes, yeah, so um, so I have a course called Breakthrough Breakthrough to Love, and uh, it's a six week um, it's a six week course, and it's it's all about Im improving the relationship that you have with yourself, which will improve all the relationships in your life, right? Because everything everything begins and ends with you, like always. You can only control yourself. You can't control anybody else, you know. So so yeah, everything begins and ends with you, and. You know, we cover we cover so many themes in this course. You know, it's all about self love, self worth, self esteem, you know, all the selves. You know that you can only give give to yourself. Nobody else can can give them can give that to you. And we also cover uh, forgiveness. You know, what kind of stories are you telling yourself? And you know, you can change you can change a story. You can't change what happened in the past, but you can change the story that you're telling yourself about what happened um, in the past. We do mm. vision boards, you know, it's, um, it's really, really special because when a group of people come together, you know, many, many of the same themes, you know, come out. So it's, uh, it's, it's very, um, it's, it's a great experience. I've given this course several times, you know, on, um, you know, in person, and now I'm going right. to do it, I'm gonna do it online starting the 26th of February. So. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. So we'll put a link for that with, yeah. uh, with the, when we, we put it together, that's great. And it, I'm just curious, is this mostly women or do you get uh, men in your groups as well? I get both. I get both. Okay. Yeah. Men. Uh, yeah. Men and women. Yeah. 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 Because, yeah, I think, yeah, because it's great. Um, Actually, one thing that comes up in, in my course and also in, in the book is, um, you know, now, you know, the divine and the, uh, the divine feminine and the divine masculine energies you know, have, have been a bit out of, out of bounds. Right. So now exactly. So now it's a time to, to bring balance to the masculine and the, and the feminine energies, you know? So it's not about like one of the energies, you know, being higher or better than the other. It's about, you know, finding balance with those, um, with those energies. And I think that that's a very big theme 
in the world in general right now, you know, in the outer yeah. world and in our inner yeah. world um, as yes. well. Yes, Han, I just, I, I quite agree with you. I literally just had a channeling session and in the channeling, my guides literally said that very sentence uh, to the woman. They said that the most intense in need for healing on the planet is between men and women around their, their sense of identity uh, yes. around these energies, you know, and the projections that we unconsciously keep each other prisoners through. You know? Exactly. Exactly. And I feel, I feel like, like I'm here to, you know, to, to play a part in that. And actually both books that I've been in, you know, this theme, you know, this theme comes up in, in, in both of the books. So yeah, yeah. beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Well, the floor is yours, my friend. Uh, where do you want to start? I'm happy to hear anything you want to <laughs> share here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think, I mean, now that we're talking, you know, now that we're talking about, you know, bringing balance, you know, to the, to the, you know, divine feminine energies and the divine masculine energies, I think, I think it's really important to, you know, to have those conversations and, and, and to understand each other and to, and to not dismiss, you know, what, what somebody is saying, right? Because many times people can have very strong opinions one way or the other, right? Whether, you know, you can be a very, you know, strong, you know, masculine man or a very, you know, feminine woman. And, you know, those, those two can, can clash, right? I think it's really important to start listening to each other and to, and, and to respect each other um, as well. I think, I think that's really, really important. Yeah. It, it's not like there's been so many movements on both sides. There's been so many movements on both sides that many times it feels like there's a war happening now. Right. And I think that we need, we need to, we need to change the way that we're we're looking at this and, and the way that we're thinking about this, because yeah. it's it's not it's not a war. I mean, you know, right. like we have yeah, we have to change the mindset of of how we're how we're thinking about this and finding balance and harmony in these energies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. beautiful. And and Laura, I love um, you know uh, the success that you've manifested with your work over the last year or so, as I've observed you. Uh, you know, do you want to sing your uh, praises a little bit? The awards, <laughs> the magazine covers, and all this. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Lou. Yeah, it's been it's been amazing, and it actually, you know, it actually started with the first book, but then you know, there's there's 15 years of work <laughs> you know, that went to it. Like I say, right. I say that right. on an overnight success story. You know, that it took 15 years. It was a long mm -hmm. night. You know, 15 sure. years of of, um, of being a coach, and there were many you know twists and turns. Um, you know, on that journey, just like in everyone's life, you know, there's, um, there's twists and, and turns, but, yeah. um, but yeah, things really started to, to turn around and, and, and to go to another level after the first uh, book that, that, that I was in, which is called, um, you know, quiet, I'm quiet and badass. I'm, you know, I'm not quiet, but I am, I am oh. badass. And, and that, that was also 18, it's 18 women in that book, um, as well. And, and in that book, you know, we, it's also we uh, we share stories of, you know, difficult moments, you know, that we went through and how we got to to the other side of those difficult yep. moments. And and after that book, it was just uh, I feel like a like a portal opened after that book, because yep. after being in that book, um, I've gotten six awards and, and four magazine covers and just like all these amazing opportunities, opportunities um, are, are coming in right now, which I'm very thankful for. But I, I did, you know, it's 15 years of work. You know, sure, so, sure. So I'm celebrating you. I'm so proud of you. That's that's wonderful. And and can I say, Laura, you know, um, uh, what great vision that is to include the stories of uh, to give women a voice, you know, yeah. in that way and to, you know, to take that deep dive with 18 different women and really, you know, hold that space for them uh, to really share their, their deepest hopes and fears and, uh, and create yeah. some healing together in terms of, you know, a, a empowering uh, women. That's very, that's wonderful. Yes. Yes. And one comment that, that I've gotten from men is, Oh, well, but these books, you know, these books are just for women. I'm like, no, <laughs> they're, they're for everybody. I mean, the, the stories are about women, but, when men like when men read these stories, they will understand women better, right? Well, I think you're inspiring me to read your books right now. Honestly, that's <laughs> very very interested. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's yeah, brilliant. they are great, and I'm not just saying it because because I'm because I'm in them. I mean, it's it's all of us. It's all of us together. And I mean, I love I love you know teamwork. You sure. Know? So all of us sure. together in these books is is very special. Yes. Well, can you? All right. I'm just. This is really exciting now. You know, you and I just sort of decided we do this, and now I'm I'm really grateful we're doing it. Can you yeah. give a um a bit of the themes? of what comes up in uh, like in Burns, your, your new book here, what yes. themes you see? Yes, well, I'll start, you know, <laughs> I'll start with, I'll start with my own chapter, right? Since, you know, right. that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's the most sure. um, personal one. So, so one of the things that, that I write about in, in Burned, um, you know, is, um, you know, we all have moments, we all have difficult moments in life, right? We all have moments where, where we get burned. But the really important thing is, is not to stay in that burn place, to learn whatever you need to learn from the experience and move on, you know, stronger than ever and with whatever lessons, you know, you, you needed to learn. You know, one, one, thing, one thing that, that I mentioned in Burned is um, I mentioned the differences between my two, you know, home countries, which are Finland and Venezuela. And the way that you know women women are viewed and portrayed in, in both of these countries are are very oh, very different. Different. and how how I had to balance you know I had to consolidate both of you know both of these cultures together right so yes. I, I talk yeah. about that I also talk about you know getting you know getting my power back and getting my voice back I talk about somebody that came into my life that that tried to keep me quiet. And how that was, you know, that was a test for me to see sure. like how how serious am I about my mission, right? Because I've always known that I'm here to help people. Even when I was little, I would Beautiful. ask my mom, mom, why are you you? Why am I me? What's the purpose of my life? You know, I was a very, I was a very conscious philosophical child. I always knew, I always right. knew that that I had a higher purpose and that there was a bigger meaning why why I was here. I've sure, always sure. That. Yeah. Do you find that? Do you find that in a lot of the women you're talking to for your books that they have that yes. sense of, you know, a, a greater purpose for their life? Definitely, definitely. And then one thing, one thing that that um that comes up a lot in this book, is um, is is coming to terms with being comfortable with your with your intuition, right? Like your your intuition and and um. And I mean, you know, intuition and messages that you get and, and all of this. I mean, you can, there's many different <laughs> words that you can use for this, right? You can say like, oh, sure. yeah, you have magical powers or, or whatever, right? But it's coming, like it's being comfortable, you know, um, and coming to terms with, with having, you know, access to, you know, other, <laughs> like other realities, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Like that, well, that's, another, I, that's another theme that comes up in this book. Um, yes. I mean, Laura, when I was growing up, I'm a little older than you are. And uh, yeah. it, intuition used to be uh, preceded by the word women's, you know, yes. or mothers, you know, exactly. and it was like, you know, it, it, that was part of the opening up that, you know, of course, women are more intuitive than men. But, uh, you know, absolutely. It's a gift, a skill that everyone can can tap into. Definitely. Um, you know definitely yeah yeah and then another yeah. another another thing that comes up in this book and and also you know connected to the title burned you know like many times i mean you know throughout history women and men have been persecuted and literally burned at the stake for yeah. for having you know for having intuition and for having what you would consider our magical powers or whatever right yeah. So yeah. It, it's coming, it's coming to terms with that as well and, and being comfortable, you know, um, yeah, with, with all of this, sure. right? So, sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah, no, beautiful. And uh, again, you know, uh, helping women find their voices, yes. you know, to tell their stories. And, um, you know, uh, as you say, men, men need to understand, you know, uh, what's, what a woman's journey is like in terms of relationship and, you know, yeah. where she feels safe or where she feels, you know, mm -hmm. unsafe or, or unheard or invisible, you yes. know, or projected upon all of those things. And um, yeah, I just think these books, uh, you know, your stock has gone way up in my estimation, I have to confess, because <laughs> I really didn't understand what your books were about. And I'm, I'm really uh, 
really yeah. grateful that, uh, that these resources are out there for people. Yes, you know? and I, it's such a, it's such an honor for me to to be a part of this, right? To to be giving women a bigger <laughs> excuse me as I cough, <laughs> you know, the throat the throat chakra getting activated. Okay. You know, it's okay. great to be yes. a part of of giving women, you know, a bigger voice. Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I like to say nobody knows uh, how um, deeply men need to heal their stuff than the women, you know, yeah. in our in our lives. And yes. and you know, in my work uh, with channeling and healing and and all of that, you know, uh, most of my sessions have been with women because women are much more, you know, in touch with their feelings in general. And as we're saying receptive, intuitive, you know, empathic, uh, you know, and that you and I know from our conversations, that is the future of yes. the planet, you know, for, for everyone, men and women to be much more uh, in our hearts and much more um, able to be feel safe to be vulnerable and, and really acknowledge how important it is to be vulnerable. So you're, you're really, you know, I see why you've gotten so much success and attention. You're you're really leading the charge, my friend. I'm I'm very excited about this. Yeah, what are, what are the what are the trailblazers, right? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, out there on the cutting edge, you know, pushing the envelope. Good for you. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then in terms of so the the um, the books, uh, this one is burned. The first the first one. Give me the title again. Yes, Qu quiet, quiet, and badass. <laughs> yeah, well, that yeah, that's pretty sexy. I have to say, that's. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, I actually have the know. book. I actually have the book here. Oh, look, yeah, okay. I have it here. Look, okay, here it is. Great, look, great. Oh, cover. beautiful cover. Yeah. yeah, the cover is great, isn't it? <laughs> yes, very cute. Yes, yeah. yes. Okay. And like the full title is Quiet and Badass Visionary Women Embracing Their Uniqueness to Create Epic Impact. Wow, kaboom. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> mic drop. Like, <laughs> Exactly, exactly. The mother is in the house, you know. Uh, exactly. The goddess is in the house. Uh, she's she's not sitting around, uh, you know, knitting sweaters. She's, she's <laughs> yeah, no, charging the gates. Yeah, no, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Yeah. And yeah. what what are some of the responses that people have had to both of these books? Well, the the response um the response has been amazing. I mean, both books both books became bestsellers um right away, you know, on on Amazon. Yeah, yeah, they both. Yeah, yeah, it's been uh, yeah the response has been amazing. I mean, quiet and badass like the response was was amazing, but burned has literally like burned. <laughs> Yeah, burned us. Yeah, burned well, us like it, burned down the charts. You know. Yeah, so, no, it's a brilliant, uh, it's a brilliant word, Laura. Uh, because uh, you know, as you said, I want to come back to this. What you were saying earlier. I mean, the challenge for all of us, you know, uh, men and women, is to take, uh, you know, and you said it beautifully, is to take the challenge, the 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 difficult situations, and you know, squeeze the growth out of it. You know, exactly. and not not run from it and not uh, not turn away from it until we get like what is the gift of this what is the opportunity here you exactly know? and but don't stay stuck in the moment like it like the u2 song you know don't stay right, stuck right. in the moment you know learn right. you know learn whatever you need to learn and then yeah. and then move on right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. no it's yeah. beautiful um wow well there's just so many questions buzzing in my head from all of this can you can you bring your your workshop a little bit into the the conversation as well in terms yeah. of uh, helping people work with self self esteem and self worth and these kinds of issues? Is there any thoughts about that? Yes, yes, definitely. So so everything everything begins and ends with you, right? And ultimately, how you treat yourself on a, on a daily basis, right? So so one thing that I that I talk a lot about in, in this course and, and with my clients in general is your self-talk. What kind of daily self-talk do you have? Like, do you constantly say great things to yourself? Are you your own best friend, your own cheerleader? If you are, great, keep on doing it. But But most people are not. Most people think about everything that's going wrong, you know, they, they beat themselves up constantly. They, they think about all the things that they don't have. Right. 
so that's one thing you know if, you know what if anybody you know if you if you take anything away from this interview like take take this thing like like look at your self talk is it is it mostly positive or, or is it mostly negative and if it's mostly negative find a way to turn it around because the way that you talk to yourself you're telling the world and you're telling other people to to treat you like this and to and to talk talk to you like this right yeah, so yeah, beautiful. put the bat down, put the imaginary bat down, you know, and 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 be kind and compassionate to yourself. Because if you can't do it, if you can't do it with yourself, like how do you expect other people to do it, right? Sure, sure. Brilliant. Let me ask you a trick question now. Uh, yeah. uh, because this has been this has been what always comes up for me with my healing chats with women. Yeah. Where do you put where do you put anger? in terms of uh, as a resource or a liability uh, in terms of uh, your workshops about self-love and self-worth? Yeah, of course. I mean, anger, anger is, is, is a part of life. I mean, it's, you know, you will, you will have moments that you feel angry and, and obviously things happen in life. I mean, you know, life is full of twists and turns and all kinds of stuff happens, you know, that, you know, you know, unexpected things, right? But yes. like when something happens, like, you know, process it, right? But don't get, don't yeah. stay stuck in it, right? And and the thing is that um, these are all moments, right? They're moments that you mm -hmm. process, right? And, and the mm -hmm. thing is that you're the one that decides how long you're going to stay angry or how, how mm -hmm. long will you stay sad or how, you know, these are all choices. Mm -hmm. These are all choices. Mm -hmm. So, it's like make conscious choices of how you react to the things that happen to you, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. So, so yeah, of course, anger, you're not going to go through life, you know, you're not going to go through life, you know, like being happy all the time and never feeling anger. I mean, that's not, that's not realistic. But sure. The thing no, is I agree. Like, what, what do you do most of the time? Like, what do you focus on most of the time? Do you focus on the things that you have and, and that, the things that you're grateful for? Or do you focus on all the things that you don't have, right? What, like it's like, do you create more abundance or do you create more lack in your life, right? Like all of these, all of this is energetic, right? And all of these things add up. Sure, sure, yeah. beautiful, beautiful. Well, what else would you like to talk about? I mean, really, this is fascinating. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's so much, there's so much to talk about. One thing that that's coming to me now is forgiveness. Forgiveness is so important, right? Because it's like you need to forgive your, you know, yourself and everybody else in your life, right? But many times, many times the most, like the most difficult person to forgive is yourself, right? For whatever mistakes you think you made in the past, right? So it's like you need to forgive yourself and you, and you need to, you know, say to yourself, okay, well, I did the best I could at the moment, right? Because hindsight is twenty twenty, right? Hindsight is twenty twenty always, right? Sure. So it's like sure. you need to be, you constantly, you know, need to be kind and compassionate with yourself. That's so important. Yes. Beautiful. Well, yeah. Laura, this is great stuff. This is great information. It, do uh, Is spirituality uh, a part of your resources personally and with your yes. teaching? Okay. Definitely. Definitely. Actually, one of the, like one of the reasons that I became a coach is because coaching combines three things that have always been very important to me. I've always known that I'm here to help people. I'm a, I'm a big communicator. You know, I love talking, you know, and I speak, you know, five, you know, five languages, you know, English, Spanish, Finnish, Italian, and, and French. And I, you know, I coach in those languages as well. Amazing. And then I'm also very spiritual. So coaching combines yeah. these three things uh, really well for me. Beautiful. So can you, that's, that's incredible. I'm, I'm amazed that you can speak five languages and teach in each of those. That's incredible. Can you yeah. say more about how you uh, bring spiritual resources into your into your teachings? Yes. So, um, so one thing that I do in all my courses, we always have meditations. <laughs> we always have med you know, we always have meditations, and many Good. times we focus, you know, we focus in the heart. You know, I, I yeah. do lots of you know lots of guided meditations around the heart. And I don't plan these. I just say whatever, whatever comes to me, you know, whatever comes to me in the moment. Well, you're a channel too, then. Okay. I yeah, am. Okay. Good. Yeah. I, I wasn't clear on that until just now. That's great. Yeah. Wonderful. 
Wonderful. Yeah, I get lots of messages. When I'm coaching, I get so many messages, which is which is really nice. Yeah. It is. It's beautiful, hon. Yeah. yeah. Well, let me let me as we come down the home stretch here, this is this is really exciting. Is there a moment from your life, Laura, childhood or teenage years or whatever, where you felt like you 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 really, you know, did a 180 or turned around or suddenly arrived or or got plugged in and your own journey that you might share with us? Yes, actually, the, the way that I got introduced to coaching was when I had just arrived in, in, in Ireland, right? Like, you know, when I when I had just arrived in Ireland, I actually did a course in, in Chrysalis, the old Chrysalis in Wicklow. You probably remember it was a beautiful, beautiful place. And I actually did a weekend workshop with two coaches, an Irish coach and a Finnish coach. And that wow. was literally life changing. That was literally life changing. And that's what started my journey into coaching. That's when I decided to become a a coach and as and as they say the rest is history right so, brilliant brilliant 15 years brilliant. later <laughs> yeah. no that's fantastic that's great i'm glad i asked that um yeah. yeah i mean it's it's really you know well you're you're well up the mountain my friend you are <laughs> you are well on your way and i'm so happy to know you and and count you as as one of my friends and and that we've been in touch with each other over the years but Boy, you this is your time, honey. You are you are flying down the road now. It's really exciting. <laughs> Thank I'm happy you. For Thank you. you so much, Lou. Yeah, it's been it's been an interesting climb up that mountain, as you know. <laughs> sure, sure, absolutely. Um, well, all right. Let me let me let me uh, ask this: What would your message to men be in your journey at this point? If you want to tell us something that we need to hear. Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. My message, my message to men would be it take take down your your guard. You know, like literally like take down your you know, take down your guard, take down the walls, right? Cuz so many times men are conditioned, you know, to be, you know, you need to be the strong one, you know, the protector, you know, the the masculine, you know, the masculine man like 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 take down the walls, like take down your guard. You don't have to be, you know, like on guard all the time, you know, and especially, especially with women, you know, yeah. like take yeah. down, like, you know, take down the wall to, to be able to, to connect better with women and, and to understand women, you know, better. Um, of course there, I mean, there are differences between women and men. I'm not saying that, yeah, we're all, we're all the same and we all think the same. We don't. I mean, sure. there's, there's differences, there's differences yeah. even, you know, in the, in the brain structures and everything. Right. But there's definitely a way, there's definitely a way to, to be able to communicate better and to understand each other better. And I think that by both, by both taking the walls down, right. And, and to be able to um, speak more clearly and to communicate better with each other and to be honest with each other, because so many times, you know, people pretend to be, you know, people that they're not, right? So it's like, have the courage to be yourself for real. Like, don't put on a show. Don't don't pretend to be somebody that you're not because, you know, what's the point of that, right? Yeah. Like, be yeah. with somebody that you can actually be yourself with and that you don't have to put on some crazy act, right? And I think that that's one thing that's really important in general for people mm -hmm. to be comfortable, be comfortable being your genuine self, right? Mm -hmm. And and that goes back to self love and and the self acceptance, right? You mm -hmm. need to love and accept yourself for who you truly are. For somebody mm -hmm. else to love and accept the real you, right? So mm -hmm. that you don't have to pretend to be somebody that you're not, and that you don't have to pretend to put on all these masks. And mm -hmm. that that goes that goes both ways. Sure, beautiful. Oh, that's that's a profound answer to a simple question. I, yeah, I really, really, it just came to me. <laughs> well, believe me, you're you're singing to the choir, as I like to say. That's uh, that, yeah. that that one really hit home. What? Let me let me ask you this then. What what would uh, what would women like uh, men to do? Uh, aside from that, what else are women asking for men to be able to? to give them or provide to them to have better relationships between men and women, do you think? 
I think one thing that women really would would like is is for men to 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 listen to them and to take them more seriously, right? Like in the sense that there's more to women than just you know what they look like and what they can like you know do for a man, right? Like there's a lot more, and and I think that I think we should all you know strive to have more deep and meaningful relationships because it's it's really easy to have superficial relationships right it's really easy to have superficial relationships and pretend to be somebody that you're not right it's a whole different level when you know somebody on a really deep like soul level and a really deep spiritual level then it's a whole different ball game right and and that can be very scary that can be very scary to people to both men and women and especially especially for men right so again, like one message that keeps on coming to me is, you know, take down the walls, like take down the guard, right? Because it's like, we should be, we're in this together. We we should be, you know, like, like a team together. We're, we're not here against each other and, and fighting against each other and, and to see, you know, who's better than the other one. It, you know, is it men? Is it women? Is it the Me Too movement? Is it the men being alone movement? Or, you know, there's all these crazy movements, right? And at the end of the day, you know, we know that the, the consciousness of the new earth, right? If you if you want to call it the, the new earth and the shift of consciousness wow. of humanity is about unity, right? We need to strive for unity and stop yeah. all division in, in all ways. And that also includes relationships. Yes, yes, yes. Well, all right. I mean, you really have me, my friend. Uh, let's talk. Let's talk about creating and sustaining intimacy. Yes. In relationship, what would you like to say about about that? I mean, you're 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 doing great. Yeah. Well, again, it comes down to the communication again, right? And and it's it's um. There's so much fear, right? There's so uh, you know, it's like the opposite of fear is love, right? Love and fear. Right. We constantly have to choose between love and fear in, in all situations and especially in relationships, right? And right. of course, when you're in a relationship with somebody and when you open yourself up, I mean, you're you're vulnerable, right? And of course, when you open right. yourself up like that and when you become vulnerable, obviously there, there's the chance of that you can get hurt, right? Sure. But it's like, you know, don't think about that. Just, you know, have the have the courage, you know, have the courage to to open yourself up like to that level, because, of course, you learn so much about yourself and about relationships in general when you're able when you're able to do that. Right. But the communication is so important and and not to come from a place of fear, come from a place of love. Right. Mm -hmm. Come from a place yeah. of love. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Um, do you see couples? Do you see conscious couples uh, coming, uh, you know, do you see conscious couples in your life? Do you see, do you see them yes. coming to your workshop? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I, I love it. Like when I, when I see, you know, when I see a conscious couple working together, especially, you know, in, in the, in the, you know, personal development world, you know, in the, in the spiritual world, like, I think, I think that's so amazing. You know, a, a couple, a conscious couple <laughs> working together and like elevating everybody around them. I mean, that's just like, wow. Like that's just like a dream yeah. come true for me, you know? And I, I agree. And I have many, I have many friends. I have many friends like that. I know lots of couples like that. And I think that those kinds of couples are increasing more and more in the world now because mm -hmm. as the consciousness of humanity rises, mm -hmm. you know, these kinds of couples, you know, come together, like these kinds of souls um, come, come together. Because it's mm -hmm. like they have a bigger purpose, a bigger calling together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Great, great. Well, that's very hopeful and encouraging, I have to say. Um, yeah. You know, uh, as 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 you and I have said, I mean, I'm I've been single for years at this point, and uh, I think you might be single at the moment as well. I don't know, you know, but uh, you know, it's I mean, and I've been studying this material and doing these workshops giving and receiving you know uh for a while as well and it's uh you know the uh what can i say the winds of change are blowing you know yes. at full gale force in the world right now and in our lives so yes. um you know again you, you mentioned unity and um 
you know, I just really value your, yourself and, and other conscious teachers, you know, uh, every one of us who felt like we have a destiny, you know, uh, no matter how clear or uh, foggy our, our sense of how to fulfill it might might have been or might be, you know, yes. we, we all tend to recognize each other like we're doing this thing. And we're yes. we're here to help each other, and uh, you know it's just a pleasure to get to know you uh, a, a bit a bit more and, and learn about your work today. So thank, thank you so much. You. It's a joy. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yes, we're all warrior warriors of light, right? <laughs> the warriors, yes. yeah. warriors of light in in the trenches, right? Of the of the shift of consciousness of humanity, uh, right yes. now. Yes. Yes. Well, I wrote a song called "Warrior of Love." I thought you were gonna refer to that so i'll have to send that to you since you're yeah you're definitely. Yeah. yeah it's my last video a uh, friend uh, and i did it a few months ago um yeah we are that we're warriors of love and light laura there's no doubt about it and it's, a, it's a pleasure to be on the team here with you um so <laughs> give us your book send your workshop one more time and then we'll we'll uh, yes. let people uh, find you and and, and dive in from yes. there how's that sound Thank you so much. Yeah, so my first book, so Quiet, Quiet and Badass, is, you know, available available on Amazon. They're all available on Amazon. So Quiet and Badass, Visionary Women Embracing Their Uniqueness to Create Epic Impact. That's book number, book number one. Best bestseller, bestseller number one. <laughs> and, then, and then the second, the second book, which which just launched on the 25th of um of January. That's Burn the Brave and Inspiring Stories from Women. Who have overcome their fears to speak their truth and share their wisdom and that's um that's available on amazon too and you know the 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 paperback copy is coming out soon and the audio book is coming out um as well so Wonderful. that's very exciting Wonderful. yeah are you are you narrating that yourself or somebody else yes. do that do that yes. oh good yes. okay we all we all yeah we all get to narrate narrate our own chapters because these oh stories my. are so personal that the publisher, right. you know, the publisher felt that we should, we should, yeah, we should record it oh, in our own voice, which is really exciting. It's going to be my first audio book. So that's going to be. Yeah. 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 Well, I'd like to, I'd like to see a, um, a film of that or a, a, a yeah, show that, that. yeah, definitely. I'm sure. Yeah, exactly. The, the movies, the movies are coming. The movies are coming. Good. 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then that. my break, my breakthrough to love course, it's going to start on the 26th of, um, of February. Okay. So right, right before, right before the leap day, <laughs> this is a leap year. Okay. Right before okay. leap day. <laughs> yes. Yes. Great. Yeah. Great. And uh, wonderful. All right, Laura. Well, thank you hon, so much. It's a pleasure to okay. share all your joy and wisdom with everyone and, uh, and to get to hang out with you and, and get to know you a bit better. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And you know, people can find me on my website and my email, Laura coaching at gmail.com. So yeah, thank you. Okay. You're welcome. We'll put all those links on my page and I'll send you the video here so you can share it as well. Perfect. Thank you so much, Lou. This was great. Thanks Thank, you so much. Thank you. Pleasure. <laughs> Thank peace, you. peace, peace. All right. Bye for now. Peace and love. <laughs> peace and love, Marilyn. <laughs>